Hey guys, so today I'll be talking about religious manipulation and how it actually affects people, especially women, because we realize in the society in which we're living right now, those people taking advantage of, especially women, with the now rising mega churches and whatever. You go to a church and you realize most of the members are women like let me say 80 percent of the population throughout history we have had so many cases of religious manipulation in which the manipulator always most of the time got out with whatever they wanted so like you can look at these cases of manipulation and see that these are just innocent people people who wanted to like find find a new branch of Christianity or something that looked more devout in Christianity and that is how they were taken taken what of how they were manipulated that is how they were manipulated and this goes on even today in the modern day we usually see people let me say like in, in those churches where they are told, you know, you need to plant a seed, you need to bring this to church, you need to do this for church, and then that is how you will be, let me say, blessed, yeah, or prayed for, or anything, or other people telling, telling their followers to dress up in certain ways, other people, we have a recent case in Kenya where there is someone claiming to be Jesus and, you know, I don't know, turning water into into tea and stuff and there are people who are actually like falling into such traps falling into such manipulations yeah then the major the major cases the majority cases is this uh what is it called prosper ministry yeah i think that is how they are referred to prosper ministries prosper ministries is where Someone is, te is told, bring something and then God, God will give you something else in return. Do something and then God will do something in return. And you know, many people go there believing. Sometimes, you, like, sometimes someone will take something there and then something actually happens. And you know, they say, yes, it has happened and it is because of what I did. And maybe if I can do it better more next time i will get something more and it is actually manipulation like i believe i i personally am a christian i'm a christian but i don't let me say is it acknowledging or what like saying that i have someone let me say those those people who say personal pastor or something something like that something of the sort like my pastor my whatever the pastor is for the church not for me <laughs> yeah that is how I live it so uh, as I say as a Christian I believe in the gospel I think in the book of Matthew see I'm tripping in the book of Matthew there is a place where it is written freely you have you have been given so freely give and that refers to the to the blessings not blessings but gifts gift of the holy spirit things like healing like words like all those stuff if you need to pray for someone you don't need them to pay you to pray for them if indeed it comes from god you didn't pay him for him to give you so you're supposed to do it free the thing about about giving tithes, tithes and uh, and whatever to church, the way you know people are nowadays taking it as a business, as a profession or whatever. But then I have my point of view. In the in those days when they actually the priest and whoever were being given those staff to stay in the temple, that was the only job. The only job was to watch over to watch over the flock why am i putting the quotations anyway it was to watch over the flock that was their only job like that is what they will do 24 7 for all their life they had no other source of income they had no other 
other stuff and then you realize that when these things were being taken to church it was not for like the priest alone to use it was for the priest because he lived in the church he lived in the temple no yeah now it is a church yeah. so he lived in the church with his family that was like that was the his whole world uh, so he utterly relied on those people coming to worship for a living and that is why you cannot find someone today let me say he's a doctor or he's a lawyer or doing what and then he has a church as a side hustle get that right as a side hustle that is where he goes <laughs> is it even a side hustle or the main job because actually that is where they get the most money yeah so they, they go there and they will quote to you scriptures of how you're supposed to bring your full grains to the church so that they can eat the priest can eat and the family and whatever this this money you're bringing to church is not even doing like godly job like let me say in most cases you'll find that 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 tithe being brought is not useful let me say if they want to do something they want to do a project you'll have to contribute it separately they want to do something else you have to contribute it separately and then you'll be told the money you brought was not for the project it was for the priest that's still my interpretation still stands anything brought to the church was not like for the church for, for the preacher to consume by himself or do other stuff with him it was there for the feeding of the priest if he lived in the church like lived with no side hustle with no source of income with like like nothing else that is what he entirely relied on so on to the last the last part of this video i would like to advise people how to not get in get trapped into these religious manipulations and stuff number one you don't need a person to be an intermediary between you and God. You can talk to God directly. You don't need to pay someone for him to talk to God to to talk to God about you or about your issues or about what. Number two, if indeed you're a Christian and you're a Christian by faith, what stops you from praying for yourself? Let me say that you need the healing. You need the what why not pray for yourself like or maybe your child or maybe someone why not pray for yourself if someone indeed has that gift from god to heal you of which nowadays i can promise you the so let me say rare i don't know i don't know who is meaning but i'll just say that rare they don't do that stuff that stuff they show on tv they don't do it they they just bring in people and we have had the crazy thing is we have had expose expose or exposure or, or what of those prophets those healers they have been talked about they have been their stories and the manipulations have been shown out in broad daylight but still you can't touch the followers you can't touch them like someone will tell you no, I'm good. I've seen what he does. And, uh, you know, that is evidence. It is not true, but still someone is there being manipulated, being run over. Anyway, it's still, you know, people are still free to choose. But don't fall into manipulation. Number three, if you're a girl, let me tell you something. You don't need to to be prayed for to get married you don't need to be prayed for to have a baby you don't need to be like you know you can pray for yourself if god wills then let it be if he doesn't then you know it's still okay i bet i bet if you prayed for yourself the end result will still be the same i promise uh what else what else what else, what else, what else?